Hi, welcome to Tool Time with Eric. I am Eric. This is Tool Time. And if you haven't noticed, we got a microphone down there in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know about the sound quality. If it seems better, if it's worse, inch by inch, it's a cinch. Yard by yard, it's very hard. So we're making progress one piece at a time. You may also have noticed that our Tool Time video didn't come out on Sunday like it normally Due does. Due to a very unfortunate editing incident, uh, we lost about two weeks worth of videos. I'll give you a little behind the scenes uh, goings on. I work full time and Jen has recently gone back to work. So we shoot a lot of our videos on Saturdays and Sundays and if there's a long weekend on the long weekend. We'll shoot the videos on Saturdays and Sundays and then we'll edit it throughout the week. Tool time is pretty easy. It only takes one or two takes, so we can shoot that on a Sunday, upload it on a Sunday, shoot it on a Saturday, upload it on a Saturday. On Sunday when we were editing videos, our phone ran out of storage, and I clicked the wrong button, and I deleted two weeks worth of work. So you're gonna get tool time a little bit later, and uh, we just ask that you bear with us as we try and get caught back up. Um, there's gonna be, this week's gonna be a little bit out of normal for how we're trying to run the channel, but that's okay. Without further ado, let's go into tool time. This week I wanna talk about not a particular tool, but I wanna talk about how things are held together around here. I left my staple box outside, and it got wet. The rains are starting to come back here in Washington, all summer, it's dry. There's wildfires everywhere. And as summer comes to an end and fall begins to roll in, we get a lot more rain and I need to be more responsible and not leave my staples outside. But staples, staples, first thing I wanna talk about. Staples have so many uses and it's usually non-permanent. So, securing chicken wire to a wooden post. I, I use a, a lot of a type of fabric to a type of wood is normally how I use it. I use the term fabric very loosely. Chicken wire is a type of fabric and fencing is a type of fabric. I don't use these staples to hold my fence together on the T-posts. I do use the staples along the bottom of my fence. In the fence line video, you can see that where I take boards of wood and staple it around the fencing to the wood and then place stakes behind the wood. That way the goats can't get their nose underneath the fence. Another project that I did was making a waterproof feeding station. Our feed is next to the fence and it's the containers that they're in are waterproof, but as the rains are starting to come back in, we needed a place to keep the food that was close to the animals, but not right in there where, where they could get into it if we weren't paying attention and they were very ambitious. So I took some pallets and some uprights and a tarp and I stapled the tarp to the uprights onto you know, the, the wooden uprights to keep the to keep the rain out, I just made a simple a simple shelter really. Um, in addition to staples, because one of my uprights failed and I was out of wood. In addition to staples, I used something else: zip ties. <laughs> I used the zip ties to secure the bottom of the tarp to the fence, and where the upright had failed to secure that part of the tarp on the seam to to the fence. If I had to pick one semi-permanent fastener, it would be zip ties. Zip ties are a pair of extra hands to hold things in place. As I'm working through ideas, different projects around here, one thing that I'll do is I'll sketch it out. I love zip ties because they work like a second pair of hands. If I could pick any non-permanent fastener, if I, if I could only pick one, zip ties would be a very strong contender in that list. Zip ties, they are an extra pair of hands. 
if I'm coming up, um, when it comes to when it comes to different projects around here, oftentimes we'll have a rough idea, we'll sketch them out, and you know roughly how it works. But as we start building it, sometimes we'll realize, oh, well, the sketch overlooked this, or I didn't think about that. So you hold something in place. The zip ties will. Zip ties work great to hold things in place temporarily, to look at it, assess it, see how it works, and then continue from there. You can use zip ties to temporarily hold things into place, look at it, assess it, and then this looks good, I like this, and then you get in there with rivets, nuts, bolts, things like that. More permanent type or strong, stronger, because zip ties, they're made out of plastic, they're not gonna last forever but you can use zip ties without really thinking about, oh, well, do I really want to try this? Because zip ties are inexpensive and relatively hardy, just not for extensive periods of time. So I love my zip ties. Everyone should have zip ties. They work wonders. They work for mocking things up. They work for holding fences together. Next up is safety wire, machinist wire, whatever you want to call it. It's thin wire. The stuff that I prefer is 0.041 inch. Depending on what you're doing, the size may matter, it may not matter. I prefer the 0.041 inch just because it's the heaviest duty that I can work with quite easily. Uh, safety wire works a lot like zip ties, although it's more temporary than zip ties normally. Um, when I was active duty in the Marine Corps, uh, our planes are held together <laughs> with safety wire. That's a slight exaggeration, but there's so many different maintenance actions on, on jets and helicopters that use safety wire that it just kind of stuck with me. Safety wire is like the duct tape of the aviation world. It holds everything together. With safety wire, you can, you can cut it with regular uh, diagonal cutters or anything like that. They also make specialty safety wire application pliers and when you'll take two pieces and it'll clip on there and then you'll pull the handle and it will twist it to make it into a nice, nice twisted holding things in place for quite some time. I don't have safety wire pliers. Um, they're really expensive for a specific job. So a lot of times I'll just use regular pliers for the applications that I need it for. Regular pliers work sufficiently. If I'm, <laughs> If I'm really trying to hold something together, I might want to look into getting safety wire pliers. And if I ever do, I'll do a tool time episode about it. Last but not least, 550 cord, paracord. 550 cord is awesome. 550 cord, you know I said how safety wire holds the aviation world together? Paracord holds the DOD together. Five fifty cord is extremely useful when it comes to rope. You've got twine, which is great for leather working. You've got this type of rope here, which is pretty good rope for lots of stuff, and the manila rope. There's all different kinds of rope. There's all different kinds of rope but when it all comes down to it, if I could only pick one type of rope, it would be 550 cord. It's called 550 cord because it has a brake strength of 550 pounds, assuming that it's manufactured correctly. According to mill spec, it should be have a brake strength of 550 pounds. It gets its strength from having a bunch of small strands that are encased in the outer shell, the, the outer nylon shell. Um, the nickname paracord, obviously because it's used for rigging parachutes as well, although I don't plan on using mine for that. 550 cord is perfect. It is my, it is my favorite stuff to use. I use it for bracelets. Um, in, the video, in the tool time episode where I was talking about my post driver, I showed that tree and the tree, I put in the post next to the tree to stabilize it. What did I tie it off with? 550 cord. It is extremely useful. I can't say enough about it. It comes in all different colors. 
so you can make you know you can you can make bracelets out of it and things like that navigational aids and there's different weaving patterns if you look on pinterest there's so many different uh, weaving patterns and stuff that, that with all the colors out there it's 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 got a purpose even outside of farming or outside of the military it's just a good craft rope it's a good all-around piece of rope and i love it of all the colors I like the green or the black. Um, I'm not fancy like that though. If, if you like other colors, let me know what your favorite color is safety wise. I have the color black. I also like the color green for my 550 cord. I think we're all caught up. Uh, I got the tool time video out. It's a little bit late. I, again, I apologize for the video being late. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell so you can get notifications. If there's anything that I left out, Please be sure to put that down in the comment section. So from our family to yours, thank you. Have a great day. God bless.